setting up multi-org access control. In order to set up multi-org access control, you need to do the following steps. First of all, what you need to do it is you need to define an organization hierarchy, which means that you need to define all your operating units first. And then once you've defined all the operating units, you need to attach it to your organization hierarchy. Now, assuming that if you don't want to define an organization hierarchy, that's still fine. The system allows you to basically attach the different or uh, different operating units to uh, to a profile which is called as a security profile through which you can set up the security of users um, to define who can access which operating unit transactions but then the pre-requirement for that is these operating units must be a part of one business group all right so as I said, once you have defined an organization hierarchy and attached the operating unit to it, or optionally, if you've defined simply the operating units and you don't have the organization hierarchy, the next step is you need to set up something called as a security profile. And as the name says, it's, it's a profile in which you define the security of operating units for the users to make sure who can access which operating units and and then you can refer, refine the rules for accessing the forms in systems administration setup so this is just the starting of the setup okay this actually restricts the transaction security but then you can also define the access uh, security in terms of the form access so that's one step down uh, which can be done as a part of Oracle systems administrator then Oracle has also come up with something called as a function administrator wherein you can define security at a functional level a little more detail so that will take up in detail later but for MOAC these are the setups so once you've defined the organization hierarchy then you have to define a security profile and on the right hand side if you see there is a screenshot I've attached that shows the form wherein you define the security profile it is defined in a responsibility for Oracle HRMS all right so once you've defined a security profile what you need to do it is you need to run a, a standard program given by Oracle and that's what you call it as security list maintenance program basically this program will uh, will make sure that the new security profile that you've defined takes into effect okay and once that's done then optionally you run the setup validation report to make sure that the organization hierarchy that you've defined is correct and the security profile that you've defined for that organization is also okay it's just to make sure whether all the organization definitions are fine but again it's an optional step and once you have done all this then all you have to do it is you have to set up a couple of profiles for multi-org access control now how the setup is done is for instance you you want to define a, a specific responsibility for payables clerk to say that okay this payable clerk should be able to enter invoices for three operating units which could be like vision operations vision services and vision corporation operating units and uh, I don't want him to switch the responsibilities so for that what you do it is you define a responsibility and attach a function to that responsibility for entering the invoices in invoice entry form and then you set up a security profile for him so that he doesn't have to switch the responsibilities he can enter the transaction for all the three operating unit in simply one form and finally once you have done these two steps 
to the defined responsibility you simply attach this uh, security profile using these profile options and once you have done then the user is all set to go he doesn't have to switch the responsibilities and that's what I will show you in the next movie wherein we'll go and define the security profile and perform all these steps